this sterile environment versus the versus the patient care environment, right? You talk about these doctors, like they are, like you said, they're sitting in the sterile environment. They're not in the home. What you're actually proposing is that this machine, this AI assisted machine, is isn't located at a pharmacy, right? It is actually located in their home and helps them uh, helps them with uh, the dispensing of the medication because I think you talked about uh, creating a chain of custody between the pharmacy all the way you know to the dispensation, which actually had this been around you know. Uh, 10, 10 plus years ago could have had a huge positive impact on, uh, on, on overcoming the opioid uh, crisis that we just had. So talk a little bit more about that. Yeah. So the way I think about the future of care and actually the future of pharmacy is that we can utilize pharmacists to practice at the highest level of their license, and they can do more than what's currently required of them. And I mm-hmm. believe pharmacists would like to extend their ability because they have a PhD in medicine. They're the only ones, just think about this, that actually know, you know, everything there is, well, not everything, but mostly about all the different medications versus physicians and nurses where they have some pharmacology training. But remember, they have a limited amount and they have to uncover a whole slew of information for a patient. So just imagine if we actually knew we had full chain of custody of pharmacy meds. So, you know, a large pharmacy distributor, you know, they push out the medications. Those medications then get dispensed or distributed to a patient. And that's usually where everything stops. But what if we actually knew that it went from the patient, they picked it up inside of a device, which we know the medication, the name, the dose, the count, then you have accountability. So you have dose by dose monitoring for the patients that need the assistance in order to impact their health and vigor because they're not able to do it on their own right now. Or maybe they can, but not to a a place where they can thrive. And most people, they don't want to have to be concerned about their medications. They don't want to have to be worried about if they took it, if they overdosed it, if they didn't. You know, what if they could just live their life and spend time in the wood shop or spend time with their friends and family or just enjoying their life versus having to really, you know, manage their own care. And right now we've already kind of seen what happens when we ask people to manage their care. 